Last episode, Ito broke through into the first team with his amazing performances in the Europa League and the Premier League. Can he and the rest of our Japanese core keep this team going strong? <laughs> Hey, welcome back. Respect the Jeff here, and we're ready for episode 46 of this whole city career. Guys, if you've been enjoying this series so far, please subscribe to the channel, and we will move on with the season. It's West Ham up next in the league. Well, we have 10 points from our opening 10 matches, and West Ham is directly ahead of us in the table, so a win here would be huge for the team. All right, in terms of the starting 11 here, I do think Okugawa is going to fill in for Ito there. Ito's been playing really well, but just needs a rest. He's got pretty low stamina, unfortunately. Elder back in the lineup, too. But the usual suspects aside from that, Tony up top. And we sure need some goals. Let's see what he's capable of. All right, here we go. Directly into action against West Ham, and we have the ball to start. Looking to make something happen now. Lopez. Tony does well to hold the play up and finds Lopez with the return pass. A dangerous ball put into the back post. Off the post. Well, you can't ask for a better chance than that, and we did not capitalize. And now it's West Ham going the other way. We gotta be careful here. Ball over the top. Maroya looking to cover. I think he does. Well, it's been an end-to-end -end match so far, and it's a real shame we couldn't score with that opportunity. And now it's a header at goal for Bricio. Makes that save look easy, though. We are enjoying most of the possession here. Very patient on the ball, and it's Bowen running into space. Cutting back inside. Lays it off for Stewart. Has a shot. Another great opportunity. And we couldn't finish there, but a chance from a corner now. And that ball absolutely whipped into the near post. Settled down, and we can't get the shot off. Although it is a free kick there at the edge of the box. We are putting a lot of pressure on them now. It's Bowen over it. Decent strike, and he forces the keeper into a save. Pressuring high up the pitch now. Masuaku, great footwork to escape that challenge from Lopez, and now West Ham are away. Although they don't take the chance. Ball into the box now. Sutar looking to cover. Ooh, and that's a clever ball through. Oh, we're struggling to get it away, though, and it's out for a corner. Stewart. Lopez being released on the right-hand side, using his pace to get in behind. Leonardo Lopez, can he pick out his man? Cuts it back. Bowen, another great opportunity. Gone missing. Now the other way. This game has been end-to-end. -end. Maroya struggling to cover. And Fabrizio gets it away, but just. That was a very risky move. This game really could go either way. The way things stand now. Higita, clever to find himself in the middle of the pitch. Just needs to distribute. Does well to find Okugawa out on the wing. Great footwork from the winger. And now he's in space and he puts a ball in. Surely this is a call off the post once again. Bowen so unlucky. Higita flicks that back for Stewart. Tony looking to lay it off. Well done from Tony. Picks up a foul again. Now it's Bowen over this one. Another chance to maybe score here. He's pretty good on these free kicks. And he curls a ball in, a little too light maybe, but again forces the keeper into tipping that one over. Another chance from the corner now, and it's headed out wide. Elder running onto it, and looks to have a shot from distance, another free kick. Maybe a chance for Bowen here once again. Well, he's been two for two on keeping them on target at least. Oh, and this time off the post, probably the best of the three free kicks but just didn't quite have the accuracy. That was very close. Well, we hit halftime, and Bowen is so unlucky to not have a goal. West Ham looking to start this second half better, but giving the ball away immediately. Bowen with tricky footwork. He has been determined out there. And still, Bowen, he's doing it all himself in the box now. Surely not, Jared Bowen. What? A goal. You will not see individual talent much better than that. He absolutely walks through their entire midfield and back line. Well, he does it game after game, and this could secure us the three points this time around. West Ham really pressing hard now to grab an equalizer, and they do. Well, it's only seconds after Bowen found that goal. 
And now we're level once again. That's poor defending. Fabricio has to do better. Over the top now. But it's well intercepted. Gonzalez gives that ball away right away though. Now it's Allaire in the box. Oh, and it's a second. West Ham go in front and once again, just mistakes at the back causing that. We need subs right away here. We cannot afford a loss. Ito coming on. Okugawa off. And let's see if our substitute can make an impact. And pull us back a goal here. Out from the back now. Bowen and Ito linking up. Bowen with some step overs looking for Ito through, but it's just too far ahead of the man. Although Ito pressuring like usual. He's in the box now. <laughs> I hit circle to tackle, but he took this shot. Elder. Bowen. Trying to make an angle. Jared Bowen. Oh, in the box. Beautiful. Saved this time around. And headed down on the follow-up as well. It's out wide. Ito. Oh, that is beautiful. Dancing around in the box too much, though. And it's one back. Time winding down now. Wilshire ball into the box, and we just cut that pass out. But unfortunately, I think that's time. It is. The whistle blows, and that's a disappointing loss for the team. We played well, but just couldn't get the result. We got to bounce back soon, because we are struggling in the league. All right, well, it's a break in action. The Premier League now back to the Europa League for the time being. We've got nine points from our opening three matches. So if we can at least grab a point... Hopefully three here. I think that pretty much guarantees us we go through. Well, the games are coming fast at this point in the season, so a lot of rotation is needed to make sure we're ready for our next league game. Alexander gets the nod at left back again. He's looked really good this season. Ito starting on the left-hand side. Okugawa on the right, and Tony through the middle once again. Bowen in the hole behind him, and let's get to this match. All right, here we go, guys. Straight into action against Young Boys. Straight through the middle now. Oh, that's a dangerous ball. Into the box. Kasada coming up huge. He's been immense in this competition. And that's basically as good as a goal right there. That was a point-blank save. Pointless ball over the top now. But somehow Okugawa gets on the end of it, taking a big touch into space now. He uses his pace and sets up Tony, who blasts it wide. Well, that was an end-to-end -end move there. A counterattack that almost resulted in a goal if it wasn't for that finish. from the goal kick now. Oh, and Ito's gone down. I think he's injured. Through the middle now. It's Batty running onto it. He's got options ahead of him. Okugawa into space. Looking to have a shot himself and a great save from the keeper. The follow-up is way wide of the mark. Through ball once again, and it's played through. Okugawa finding himself in so much room this game. Allen Shirley, another save. And the follow-up away. Into the box. The injured Ito still struggling on here. He's hoping he could shake it off, but unfortunately, I don't think so. However, he does pick out a good pass in the box. And wins it back again. Ito getting involved a lot here. Tidy footwork. He finds his way through, but the final pass goes missing. Well, he couldn't shake it off, guys. Ito's got to come off, and that is a huge blow. One of our best players out there. We're giving Aaron's a chance. He has not impressed so far, but I'm going to give him another opportunity. It's through now, Aaron's. Some first touches on the ball and gives it away immediately. That is poor. Looking to get in behind Alexander. What a monster in this back line. Well, he picks out a good pass, too. He seems to have it all, the youngster, and he only will get better, but that poor pass... Breaks our move down, and now young boys go the other direction. In behind the give and go. Top of our box. We're defending pretty well, though. And looking to break on the counter when we get the opportunity. Alexander again blocking. Well done from the left back. And again, springing us forward with that pass. It's through now. Allen onto it. Cutting inside. Cameron Allen looking to have a shot. A great save from the keeper again. To the back post this time, and it's out. That's a dangerous ball in. Casada. All right, substitution time now. Allen's tired. He's played all right, but we need Bowen on there. A little bit of 
a chance on now, Kasuda again, amazing save. Well, if it wasn't for his heroics, we could easily be 2-0 down. Now we have a chance at the other end, Wilson sprinting into space. Looking for the give and go, Batty, Bowen. Return pass to Batty, that's brilliant, oh. Substitution time now, Okugawa coming off and Lopez coming on. In behind now, a very dangerous ball into our box, and we barely deal with that. Maybe it's away now. Lopez, Bowen, doing well to hold the play up. And just easy back now. They're really turning up the pressure on us. Lopez away again. And Bowen in a bit of space. Looking for the give and go. Oh, Jared Bowen. Surely one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper now. He has to finish. Jared Bowen, no! Saved and well, you would not expect that from him, especially a player in such form right now. I think it's just a good save in the end. They play out from the back now, probably happy for a tie at this point, and the full-time whistle blows. We drop two potential points there, not being able to score. A decent result in the end, but not what we would hope for. All right, well, on the bright side, Ito is not out for long. We really need him back, so that's good news. It's Manchester City coming up next. We have some very brutal games coming up. In the near future, we have Chelsea, Arsenal, and Liverpool all after this. So we just got to take points where we can get them, I think. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, Ito and Kubo both out injured. Our injury list grows, so we got to do what we can for the time being. And I'm just going to play this one safe. We know what Manchester City is capable of. So we're going to play this very defensive. Try to spring on the counterattack. We're playing five at the back. And we'll just make the most of our chances that we get. It's Bowen up top, looking to get in behind. We'll just have to see if we can pick him out. Let's get to the game. All right, here we go at the Etihad. It's a tough away matchup. Definitely not favorites to win, but we've done it before. We've taken down big teams. So let's see what we can do out there on the pitch for this one. Good interception there. Looking to spring away. Higita releasing Okugawa, sprinting onto it. Higita to the back post, it's Lopez. Oh, he should have had a shot himself, I think. And the chance goes missing. Now it's Manchester City going the other way. Werner playing through Silva. And it's Elder to get to it first, but Silva wins the ball back. Well done from their player. But that's poor from us defensively. Top of the box now. Looking for an opening into the box, and it's barely out. Manchester City with almost all of the ball since we had that chance earlier in the match. De Bruyne, what a strike from the edge of the box. One to nothing, and we're down already. And there goes our game plan out the window, I think. Still Manchester City with the ball. We are not having a good time here in this match. Fabricio grabs that one. But they're putting a lot of shots on target already. And one back again. We're struggling massively. Can't even keep a hold of the ball. Now it's Sterling out there on the wing. Curling a ball into our box. It's Silva on the follow-up, deflected. We're hanging on by a thread now. Looking to get away. And again one back. Directly back at our goal, and it trickles down to Fabricio. Sterling sprinting down the wing. Maroya looking to cover, and he wins it back, but Sterling... On the return once again, the give and go in our box, and it might be a second, it is. And we're having a hard time stopping De Bruyne, and that is just a beautifully worked goal by Manchester City. Nothing we could do about that. That clever little give and go there. Burke looks to cover, but he is just away in space. All right, well, with everything out the window now, we're going to a back four. We got nothing to lose at this point. We're 2-0 down. And let's see what we can make happen here. Uh, Aaron's coming on. He gets another shot. Manchester City again in this second half, putting a lot of pressure on us. A shot, and Fabricio does well to keep it out. And again, De Bruyne, Sané in the box, and a save from Fabricio. It's offsides anyways. That was a very dangerous opportunity. We'll play out short from the back here. They're not pressuring too high up the pitch. Sutar, Gonzalez, good ball over the top, looking for Aarons. Oh my lord, he's been terrible, Aarons. A huge mistake there. He was away in space. And he just lets it hit off his back and goes out. In the box again, it's Manchester City. And a point-blank shot. 
They do well to block, though. But again, we just can't close down here. Give and go. Back up. They reset the play. We're defending all right here. But a pass from them at any moment seems like it could break through. It's Sané dancing around at the edge of the box. Still, Leroy Sané. Another shot saved by Fabricio. And we are just under seeds this entire game. Warner picking the ball up. It's centered, and this time he does score. Three to nothing. And a really deserved lead. Substitutions now. We have nothing to lose. Here we go from the kickoff. Three nothing. Another ball put into the back post. A point blank header. Well, we just need the full time whistle to come now. It looks like it's out of our hands. Fabrizio called into action again. Manchester City still looking for more. They are hungry for goals. We try to boot that upfield, but the full-time whistle blows. Absolute embarrassment for our team. We were outclassed. And Manchester City comes away with a very well-earned three points. Well, good news, guys. Kubo is back from injury, and that means he can start helping us out up top, and we sure need it. We've been struggling. I know he wasn't too great earlier in the season, but I hope when he comes back, he will be able to help drag us to some more wins. He's been crucial for us in the past, and I'm sure he can do it again. All right, but that does bring us to the end of this episode, guys. Next up, we have Newcastle. They're directly above us in the table, so it's a good opportunity to keep our position safe here. And I'll be back soon with that episode. But until then, I'm Respected Jeff, and I'll see you next time.